Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Southwest Potter's secret weapon. What is that? Good natural clay? A pookie perhaps? Outdoor firing? It might be more humble than you imagine. The gourd scraper. Sometimes even when a potter gives up on some of the more traditional aspects of pottery. For example, they start firing in an electric kiln, or they start using store-bought clay. Oftentimes they keep the gourd scraper because it really is a useful tool. Today I'm going to show you how it's used a little bit, but more importantly I'm going to show you how to make one. You can try as you might to find gourd scrapers for sale, and as far as I know, my website is the only place where they're sold online. But they're fairly simple to make if you can get your hands on gourd. So I'm going to go through the simple process of making a gourd scraper so that you can make your own. A gourd scraper or gourd potter's rib is really a deceptively simple and basic tool it's merely a kidney-shaped piece of gourd. So, being so simple, it's easy to take it for granted and think, well, I can replace that with, say, a plastic rib, a rubber rib, a metal rib. The gourd has a unique texture that is hard to replicate with modern materials. Uh, it can soak up water and become a little bit flexible. Uh, it's got abrasive quality. It's got an ability to smooth, too. And it's got a sharp edge that can grab the clay when you're trying to scrape. So it makes a really nice multi-purpose tool. And the nice thing about it is they cost very little to produce yourself. And if you happen to break one, or if, for example, you need a whole bunch of them for a workshop, they're easy to make more. A couple years ago, I grew some gourds in my garden. And I ended up with way more gourds than I knew what to do with. So I just stacked them in a storage shed and forgot about them, figuring I'd use them eventually to make gourd scrapers. But then it came time to move. And gourds take up a lot of space. I probably could have filled a couple of garbage bags full of gourds. Maybe three, maybe four. I had a lot of gourds. So what I ended up doing was going through, selecting the best, and then cutting them into blanks. Because these little bits like this are a lot easier to store because I can stack a lot of these gourd blanks together. You see, much more compact than a whole gourd. I threw away all the insides, threw away the stems and the bottoms, which have odd shapes, just kept the nice bulbous outside parts. And each one of these is a blank that can make at least one and possibly two scrapers, depending on the size you want. So the best way to start is with a, a what I call a blank, just a piece of gourd rind. So um, basically what I did is I took a saw, like a carpenter's saw, and I just sawed them in two or into quarters, took the tops and bottoms off. And sometimes when you get them open, you can kind of just take your hands and break off bits and kind of get them into these blank shapes. So sometimes I might have half a gourd and I can just gently kind of press on it, pull it apart with my hands until it snaps because it is brittle. Um, and I can do the same thing even when I'm making a scraper. I can just bust off corners like that until I get something akin to the shape I want. You see? And once I get it close to what I'm looking for, uh, a rasp, a simple rasp that you can buy at a hardware store, does the rest of the job very simply. Now I imagine traditionally these were probably abraded on stones. And if you want to make them a traditional way by abrading them on stones, go for it. I'd love to hear about it. So if you do that, leave me a comment so we can see how it comes out and talk about the pros and cons of going that way. I've never actually formed one that way. Uh, the rasp does a really good job though, and these aren't very expensive either.
Once I'm done, I'll usually use some sandpaper just to clean the edges up, make them nice and smooth. I don't have my sandpaper unpacked yet since I moved in. It's, it's still in my storage shed in Sierra Vista. So I'm actually just going to um, just gently scrape it on this brick wall just to, um, just to abrade that edge smooth so it doesn't have any striations from the rasp. And that's all there is to it. A little bit of work, about 15 minutes worth of work. I've got a nice little gourd scraper ready to make pottery with.